Hey bitch and welcome back to another video. Oh guys, today's video I just wanted to chill out for the weekend. There's been a lot of stuff happening over the week and today's video I just wanted to be super chill. I used to film videos playing equestrian video games or even not necessarily equestrian but like Red Dead Redemption etc. And it was brought to my attention by a lot of you guys that I should get back into that. So I'm planning on filming an equestrian plays video maybe once a month and today Oh, I'm so excited because today we're going to be playing The Sims 3. I actually think that The Sims games are possibly my favorite video games ever, and I don't play video games. I'm not a big video game person, but girl, I love The Sims. And The Sims 3, as you guys know, has horses in it, so it's really near and dear to my heart. I used to play this all the time when I was a little kid. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it, but... Just reminding you guys that we still have those closeouts on linkequestrian.com. Pick anything up you want because they are not going to come back. That link is down below. Let's get to it. Let's recreate my life in Sims, okay? Let's go. Those are all of the animals I created because these are all my animals, except for Mint. As you guys know, I have one other cat who's actually a fully black Maine Coon kitten. And I could not create Mint because they only allow you to have six pets. Here we are, we're in Appaloosa Plains. If we go to the map view, I went ahead and bought this little piece of land right here. And I bought it because it's right next to the equestrian center. But for those of you who don't know, in The Sims 3 Pets game, which is what I'm playing in, there are tons of little horse trails, as you can see, to ride your horses around, which is why I chose this world. I really, really like the world. I think that it's just really pretty. I mean, you've got a little racetrack right over here as well. It's just, you know, really, really pretty. I love it. In The Sims three pets game you actually have horses so there's jumping racing etc you know i do have the sims 4 but i never play the sims 4 really that much because you don't really have horses so the sims 3 i haven't played this since i was a kid uh, and I was so hoping that The Sims 4 would come out with horses because it's literally my favorite aspect about the game. But, you know, The Sims 3 is still great, so I'm so excited to be playing it today because, honestly, I haven't played it in so, so long. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a brief overview and show you guys The Sims in uh, Create a Sim so you guys can see what they look like. I don't think I really need to show you guys me. I tried to make it look like me as much as possible and I'm really just wearing the same outfit every day. I just have some black and brown breeches with some high boots. So as you guys can see, this is what Monty looks like. Just a little flame point Siamese, super, super cute. Then right here we have Rain. And again, she's a beagle basset hound, but her legs are just a little too tall. So just ignore that. Then right here we have Braylee. As you guys know, she is a Frisian. I actually put a Western saddle on her and I did this little custom zebra print. I thought it looked super cute. And right here we have little Mouse. She's so cute. She's just a little stray. As you guys know, I found her in a a Walgreens parking lot and she's just a little cutie. And of course we have the star of the show, Mr. Link. Um, they actually had a quarter horse model in here already so it was pretty easy to make him. The most difficult part was just recreating his like orangey coat coloring. Um, but his facial markings as you guys know are really unique so I'm not really able to replicate his facial markings in this game but it's not that big of a deal, no worries. And then I also put just a nice little English saddle on him, but it, I mean, I don't understand the girth situation. Like, I don't know why the girth is so far back, but whatever. Um, and then I just did a cute little cow print since Braylee has zebra print. And then lastly, we have little Rexy. He's my little Jack Russell terrier mix. I don't really know what he is. Um, I tried to make this look as much like him as possible, but I don't know. I really don't know what Rex is, so it's, very difficult to recreate him. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to kind of furnish this house a little bit.
A few moments later. Whew. Alrighty, guys. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a tour of the house and all the animals now that I'm completely done with this little setup. Oh my goodness, I love it so, so much. So let me go ahead and give you a tour. Now, all I've done so far is just obviously create them and create a sim and then create this little house, but I haven't really done much gameplay at all. And the little bit that I have done, I'll tell you. So firstly, this little entrance, I wanted it to be kind of like a farmhouse, just really small and quaint. I love it so much. This is very unrealistic to what my life actually is because I currently live right outside Los Angeles, as you guys know, but I'm hoping to have a house and barn of my own uh, within the next few years, and I'm just so looking forward to that. We're actually getting ready to move up to Washington State, so this is a possibility someday. Super exciting. So anyway, right here at the entrance, we got the little sign and a little windmill that I put up. Also, here's the truck. So moving over here, uh, the little university llama showed up. We're just gonna ignore him, but here is the entrance to the house and we're gonna start there because I think the house is actually really super cute. So inside the house, firstly, we have this little living room. So it's just very roomy. And same thing with the kitchen, I did a little farm kitchen type deal. And then over here we have a little dining table and then the food bowls for the animals. I only put up, I think four, oh no, three, three food bowls, but that's enough. The living room, super cute too. I just wanted to do a little cute kind of farm homey vibe. I got a little cat toy right over here. And then we have in the uh, bathroom, just, you know, normal bathroom, normal setup, nothing that special. Same thing with the bedroom, just normal, kind of rustic, kind of country, kind of Victorian, couldn't really decide. And then I put a little cat tree right here and a little cat toy on the wall. Now over here in my favorite room of all, we have the pet room slash office. So I've got my fish tank right here, which I actually just stocked with some fishies. As you guys know, I love saltwater reefing. I actually just had to rehome my saltwater reef tank, which I know a lot of you guys have seen in my videos and asked where it went. I'm moving up to Washington soon and I just felt like it was gonna be really cruel to try and move all the fish because it's like a 20 hour car drive and they just would have had a really bad time and potentially died so I just didn't want to risk it. Um, then we have a little hamster here but it's actually a squirrel um, because you can't buy a hamster in the Sims games. I don't know why so I guess we get a pet squirrel but... <laughs> And then little Rexy following me around. This is so realistic because Rex is actually laying on me right now. He just follows me everywhere. So she's giving him a nice little brush right now. And then we've got a little automatic litter box, toy box, desk. I was going to put multiple litter boxes in here, but it's not real life. So I'm not worried about it. The cats will be fine. And then back out here, we've got Monty and Rain just chilling. Got a little pathway. I put some sunflowers on the side of the barn. And here we have Link hanging out. Actually, he opened the door. Let me see if I can get him to move. Okay, there we go. I want the door to close. Thank you, Link. <laughs> there we go. Jeez, that took forever. Okay. Anyway, so here's the little barn. I just wanted a nice little quaint barn set up. It's super cute. And inside here, let's turn on all the lights. All right. So inside the barn, I just did this nice little cute rustic look. So we've got a little bench, a little dog bed, some little uh, longhorns on the wall, and then uh, some extra hay for the horses. And then I put an extra water trough. Then right here, we got a little lasso and just some decor, some, you know, horseshoes. I was gonna do, as you can see right here, I was gonna do kind of like um, a tack up area, but then I decided not to add a full wall. So I just did this little half wall. And then I have the saddles and bridles 
and halters up here, some little extra feed buckets right over here, and some extra hay bales. Then we've got the two stalls, and I put little grooming boxes in front of their stalls. And we've got some hay and water in both stalls. And then I also put rubber mats. This is actually just a type of flooring, but I wanted to put rubber mats on the inside. All right, then back outside the barn, right over here where Link is. Oh my God, this is so cute. So I put these little tack up areas slash wash areas. So we've got these little posts and then we've also got some water and hay troughs and then some salt and mineral licks right here which as you can see link is just thoroughly enjoying he looks so glossy i wonder if he jumped in the pool <laughs> and then we also have some excess hay right out here i just thought this was such a cute idea especially with all the little you know trees around and then i put another little matching dog house right out back and right over here where Brayley is, you can see there's this big pond in the backyard. I think Brayley's kind of just taking a walk around. And we've got a little ball for the horses. And I decided to put two jumps. So we've got a little firecracker jump and then a normal oxer. So, you know, I didn't want to overdo it too much with the backyard because it's not super big, but you know, having a little training ground is great. And then what's nice is right here, this is not part of the property, but this is like an extra field for the horses that can go out here and graze. I really love these sunflowers. And then back over here, you can see there are tons of horse riding trails. I think the thing I love the most about Sims 3 is the fact that it's an open world. We're gonna go ahead and begin this gameplay, you guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I haven't played this game since I was a teenager, but I'm so excited. We went ahead and fed all the animals, and now I'm just gonna hang out with them. I think I might find a job to do and then work on my equestrian skills because your girl knows that this bitch has zero equestrian skills right now. I mean, seriously, I think her equestrian skills are non-existent. Oh yeah, and I'm unemployed. <laughs> and I have zero skills. <laughs> oh my god, these horses are so freaking cute. Wait, why am I scattering the hay? You know, I think what's really cool is that the horses, you can control the horses. Like, I'm going to have Brayley and Link. Oh, my God. Is he playing with a ball? Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. That is so cute. All right. Well, while he plays with the ball, I'm going to check on Brayley. She's in there just taking a nap. It's been a long day. You know what? It really hasn't, but Brayley is so freaking lazy, dude. Like, all she does is nap. We're going to add some points for her. I think these are, like, to-do things for the animals, so I'm just going to add some of these so the animals get familiar with each other. They all love each other in real life. Oh my god. This looks just like Monty. I cannot get over it. He's laying right next to me. Oh my god. He's so flippin' cute. Look at him. Oh my god, I love it. I love, I miss this game so much. Oh my god, bitch, get on. Wow, that was so embarrassing. Alrighty. Go for a ride, baby. Learn how to ride. Ooh, where'd I go? Oh my god, look at this position. 
Bro, ew, look at how slouched over. I mean, I guess this is a really good representation of how beginner riders look, you know? All right, we're leaving town, you guys. We're literally riding on the road. Like, could we go somewhere safer? I mean, I can choose where to go, but honestly, this first ride, I just want it to be peaceful and easy because look at this fucking positioning, bro. Look at this. You know where we should go, you guys? We should go to the equestrian park. Is that over here? Oh, no. Let me check. I think it's over here. And we can practice. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at this place. Whoa! Whoa! She's running! Whoa! I mean, I don't think I'm, I'm good enough to be jumping right now. Look at this. Look at this positioning. Oh my god. Oh wait, am I level 1? Did I just level up? Possibly. Oh my god, I swear. Oh my god, he's gonna do it! Oh my god! Oh, yeah. Good for you, buddy. Good on you. She can't ride. Look at me. I'm terrible. He refused. Good for you, buddy. Let's try it again. Hopefully he does refuse. Oh, you know what we should do? We should really do... Yeah, see, he's refusing. I mean, at least he's refusing. I actually think the people who designed this game did such a good job. That's so realistic. All right, let's practice these Cavalettis. Come on, Link, stop being lazy. There we go. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was so good. What's my skill level at? One? Wow. All right, we'll do one more. All righty. Okay, let's go home. It's getting dark out. Look at this. Guys, it's so freaking dark. No, stay on him, bro. What? Are you crazy? Why am I getting off? Oh my god. Girl, how are you going to get home? No. Girl, what the fuck? How are we getting home? Are she going to run home? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, Link. Okay, you got to go home too, buddy. Come on. All right, she's running home. Whatever. Or she's taking her car. Bitch, if you take your fucking car. No, she is not. She's taking the fucking car. She's leaving the horse there. Guys, I promise I'm not like this in real life. I don't know what the fuck that was. She literally just ditched her fucking horse. He's running home. Look at how sad this is. He's chasing her. He's chasing her home. I'm so sorry, Link. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. Damn, that was so cold, bro. She just fucking ditched Link. Wow. Wow. Okay, buddy. He's probably tired. Let's let's uh let him go in there. Is Brayley still sleeping? Oh my god. Oh no, she's not. Brayley's eating and drinking. That seems like her, honestly. She's such a pig. I love her though. She's great. Brayley's so cute. Look at her. Brayley literally does look the most normal. All right, he's going to go in. He's going to rest up. Oh, good boy. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck? Dude, mob. Hello, what do you want to live in a slum? 
Oh, that's cute. She's playing with rain. Oh my god, that's so adorable. You guys know I can't cook. Oh my god, I just burned my mac and cheese? Dude, really? That's disgusting. Well, don't eat it! Throw it away! Yeah, clean it up. Alright, bitch, you're just gonna have... Let's do salad. Link's good, Rain's good, Monty's good, Mouse is good. Rex, where's Rex at? Why is he... S oh, he's laying down. Okay, good, because he's sleepy. Oh my god, you can take classes? Alright, we'll take a class tomorrow. Alright, she's going to bed. Good time to check on all the animals. Make sure that he eats once he gets up. He's gonna be hungry. Make sure she goes to the bathroom. I think I really like The Sims 3 a lot more because it's just really interactive with the animals. Where's Braylee? Oh, is she just running around? Dude, you know what's also cool? Bro, what the fuck is she doing? Why is she running around so much? She just enjoys the rain? It's the middle of the night, Braylee. Oh my gosh, she's peeing. <laughs> it's the middle of the night and Braylee's running around like crazy. You know, I like this game though because it's so much more interactive with the animals than The Sims 4. And also, uh, there's literally unicorns in this game. Like, I shit you not, guys. There's unicorns, okay? Oh, she's just gonna graze. Alright, we'll have fun, bitch. She's thirsty. Oh, it's alright, buddy. Just a thunderstorm. During the night is like the best time to make sure that the animals in the game are like doing well. So while she's sleeping, I like to, you know, monitor the animals. You can also like grab some shit and put it away because they like to throw their toys all over the place. You know, I think the thing I miss the most about uh, living somewhere that's not California is the freaking rain, dude. I miss the rain. I miss the rain so much. Why are she just laying out here? Bro, why are they just out here? Rayleigh, is she sleeping? Oh my gosh, they're literally sleeping in the rain. Okay, come on, Bradley. Seriously, can you get up? Look, it's so rainy. Well, I guess today she's gonna go to the equestrian center, and we're gonna take a riding lesson. I love this world, though. This world is so much fun to play in. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go take an equestrian lesson once this bitch wakes up. Wake up! Why is she sleeping so much? Okay, well make your bed. I mean, seriously, come on. Okay, 
Okay, she needs to name the rodent, adopt a stray, take a riding class. Let's name. Phil. Give squirrel name. What should we name him? Hammy. There we go. One task completed. No, we're not going to buy those. We're not going to go fishing. Let's feed our fish. Fill the bowl. I was like, just gonna play with the ball? Cool. Ew, bitch, put that away. We're not going to university. No, take it off. Ew, no, take it off. Put your everyday outfit on, Jesus Christ. Okay, how do I get rid of this? I don't want this. Okay, I'm just gonna hide it in the bushes. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be raining the next few days. Sunny, sunny, okay, cool. What? Brayley's panicked? What the fuck? Why? Brayley? Go chill out. Go lick some salt lick and stuff, you know? Oh my god! Bro, did they eat this whole thing? Am I gonna have to buy a new bale of hay? Why would they even eat that? You guys have hay in your stalls! I mean, honestly, guys, this was like decor. Hello, fat asses. Oh my god, they're so fat. They're literally fat in real life, too. Like, I love them so much, but my horses literally do nothing but eat. I don't even know what Link is doing right now. Let's have him go. Go scratch your back, buddy. Go roll around. Link loves rolling. Map view. Ooh, there's a summer festival. Well, we should definitely go to that. What's a partner? Attend a riding class. Let's see that. I didn't even know they had these. Yeah, bitch. Run. Get in your fucking car. Let's go. It's Brittany, bitch. Let's go. Oh my god, she's speeding. Okay, we don't need to go that fast. Oh yeah. Equestrian Center, go take your lesson. Alright, while she's doing her riding lesson, I think I'm gonna have Link come back over to this. Wait, Link just proved his improved his racing where? Oh my god, is that a unicorn? Oh damn it, no it's not. It's just some random bitch. Bro, she's wearing a skirt. She's trying to ride horses in a skirt? Alright, Link, come back over here. We're gonna practice jumping. Link's gonna become a world-class jumper, you guys. Grand Prix. At least in the game. I don't like jumping in real life. <laughs> I don't even know what Braylee's doing. Braylee's- oh, she's eating the hay. Yeah, of course she is. That's literally all she does, is just eat- eat hay. That's it. I bet you she's eating the hay that is- yep, she's going for it right now. I see her. I knew it was her, too. I mean, this is literally so realistic, because this is literally Braylee in real life. <laughs> All she ever does is eat hay, you guys. That's it. I love Braylee so much. She's my favorite. <laughs> I love that her character is literally just how she is in real life. Alright, let's check on Link. Oh, her writing lesson is almost done.
Oh, Link just improved his jumping skill. Damn, what the fuck? This horse just like dipped on its rider, bro. Nah, too much. Maybe he'll try and jump the water ones. Whoa! Whoa! That was fucking sick! I didn't even know he could do that. I honestly didn't think he was gonna be able to do that. Wait, let's jump this one again. I want to see that again. Oh, come on, Link. Try it again. Oh, uh, damn. Maybe it's this one. Maybe he'll jump it. He tried. <laughs> I love how Braylee is always just like sleeping or eating every time I check on her. Well, you guys, your girl is now level two in riding. If you guys want me to film more videos on my Sims progress and more videos following this Sim and these little guys, let me know and just every time I play this game, I'll film and show you guys the progress I'm making. Otherwise, I think I'm just gonna continue playing on my own and having a bit of fun. Bitch, answer your phone, what's wrong with you? Answer phone, yes. Why do I even have to make that a good, like, answer it? If you guys want to see more of these, just let me know and I'll kind of, like, follow this sim's progress and, uh, you know, the horse's progress and riding skill and stuff and we can make this into a series again, possibly the equestrian plays. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!